Welcome to the Recipe Video Game Podcast. I am your host, The Red Knight, and today I'm going to be reacting to the final, or should I say just the last trailer before Tears of the Kingdom launches. I don't want to say the final trailer, because the final actual trailer will be more than likely after even the accolades trailer, which you know is going to happen after the game launches, and there'll probably be a launch day trailer. But this is the last thing we'll see before the game actually comes out you know not counting any little clips and things like that then nintendo starts posting all over social media yeah this is the last big piece of information nintendo wants to share and that's why damn this is 19 minutes long this can't possibly be this can't possibly be them talking before the trailer actually is well i'm about to press play anyway but yeah like I i'm just excited right now because I'm hoping that this is the one that competes with the best Breath of the Wild trailer. I'm hoping that this is the one that, uh, how else will I put this, that shows us a lot more differences between this game and Breath of the Wild, which is crazy to say because they have shown us literally so much, you know, different, I mean, going from visually to you know, actual in-game content. They've shown us a lot of different things. Let's just say that. But it, but I feel like they, they've they been, you know, basically keeping their cards very close to their chest, just hiding their hand. And I think what they need to show us is, oh, who the hand is. Uh, Maybe some action in the sky, fighting in the sky. I remember seeing patterns for a Nintendo game where a character with a sword and a shield will be able to change trajectory, you know, in the sky and shoot a bow and arrow and stuff like that. Always oh, thought that was going to be this game. Have we seen that? Nope. Can we possibly see that right now? Hopefully. Um, did I press play on this? No, I'm going to press play. See what happens. I, I'm sure I'm going to have to fast forward. But anyway, uh, what else? What else before I actually get into this trailer? Because I'm, I'm just, you know, excited right now. And I could, I could just go right to the trailer, which I mean... Might as well, right at this point. But final thoughts, final thoughts. Let me let me actually find this thing. Uh, it's probably all the way at the end. My final thoughts. I hope to see more Zelda in here. I hope to see a lot of different costumes. Hopefully, you know, because that's a big thing about Breath of the Wild that we haven't really seen much of in Tears of the Kingdom. What we gonna be wearing, you know, and things like that. Um. Yeah, I hope to see other living creatures that we can ride, not just horses. Maybe something you can fly on. I know you can make vehicles, and some people might feel like, oh, that'll, you know, basically defeat the purpose. But I'm like, we, we've seen horses in this game. So just because you can make vehicles doesn't mean Nintendo was going to just do away with the horses. That's still a means of transportation. So why not have multiple means of transportation in the sky? Let us let us ride a dragon. I want to be like, what was his name? Uh... uh Falcor and goddamn never ending story. I think that was his name, Falcor or something like that. I don't remember. But no anyway, game. oh all right, here we go. Oh, so we get thirteen Hello, thirteen minutes. Cool. I don't know how much time before it plays, but anyway, I'll just keep talking. Uh yeah, so I said flying stuff, fighting in the sky. I would like to see our main villain. I would like to hear more dialogue. And I think those are obviously going to be in. Hello, everyone. So yeah, I'm let's AG get Alan into Hill, it right producer now. Producer of the Legend of Zelda series. There's just one month left until the launch of the Legend it's crazy. of Zelda. Crazy one month of the out. In this vast world that seamlessly connects the surface and sky, you'll vast be able world, to enjoy vast world. using your imagination to the fullest while exploring. It's not long until you can experience this unfamiliar Hyrule. He always says unfamiliar, even though it looks so familiar, to see right? How you'll explore this world. Trust me, he knows more than us. I'm gonna take his word for it. Today, we've prepared the final trailer before the game's launch. See, final before the game's launch, because there will be other ones after. Please enjoy. Here we go. Starting in the sky. That music, man. Mm -hmm. 
Look at this guy. That's awesome. That's amazing. Oh, the music of the classic notes right there. Building at the castle. Oh, uh -oh, what's this? Oh, the castle rising. Oh, what a tease. music oh that was villagers fighting oh damn Zelda we rely yeah this trailer is amazing so far. sword he carries our last line of defense will be Link. Link. Oh, he got a shield on the sword. Oh, he was flying with a Teba. So we see our champions around there. Got a rocket? Oh, we Mario now. Gravity jumping. And some Donkey Kong minecart action. He got his own vehicle. For they vehicle. Dude, this dude had a, a, a one of the, uh, what do you call it, the oars, whatever. <laughs> That's crazy. why I am here. It's something only I can do. My goodness. This music is trailer. You witness a king's revival. And the birth of his new world. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, let's go. Wait, that's a baby. But you are not alone. Dude, are you gonna be able to summon your champions? You are our final hope. Yo. If anybody was wondering whether they would be able to top that awesome <laughs> Breath of the Wild trailer, this shit crushed it. Link, you must find me. So she's look, she's look. It looks like she's gonna be more active in this game because she's not fully captive in this game. I mean, she's somewhere, but clearly she's not. Dude. 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 Enjoy. Enjoy. Dude, this was a masterpiece. The music was insane. And every frame was just gorgeous. Every direction I look, I'm like, I want to go there. I want to go there. I want to see what that is. What the hell is that? They still didn't show us like fighting in the sky, anything like that. Who knows if you can do it, but they haven't shown us much. They keep... Wanting us to be surprised, I guess. They they not trying to change that. I wonder how the previews for this game is gonna be. <laughs> if they really being like that, like Wow, dude. Like seeing Link with people and seeing like this is a world that was saved. You know, you did save this world in the previous game, so people are more just I guess willing to stand up, fight for themselves, fight with, you know, the champions, the hero. What an intro and title screen. That was insane. That right there is so cool to see. Because we saw it built up in Age of Calamity. Then we saw it destroyed in Breath of the Wild. And now in Tears of the Kingdom, we're going to be seeing things get rebuilt. My goodness. My goodness. Dude. 
Ganondorf is no joke. I like how they got Ganondorf looking also like extra chunky like he did in the original Hyrule Warriors or even like Demise. He's doing Mission Impossible now. That's crazy. That's the that's the gate right there. Where all the guardians got destroyed. Dude, the thing coming out the wall reminds Zelda. me so much of the boss from uh, on your night. Wind Waker. The legendary sword he the two hands in the face. Our last line of defense will be Link. Yo, this character is huge. Link. See, Zelda looks fine with whoever she's, you know, taken by. Like, she doesn't look like she would, I guess, if she was taken by, you know, the evil of the, the, the true evil, like, you know, Ganondorf. It's more like she's just lost and wants to be saved. I, I don't know, like, it's hard to explain, but it doesn't feel the same. And that's interesting. Cause that means she can have a more active role throughout the series. Yo, that is insane. I know why I am here. Was that an ice spider? It's something only I can do. Tears of the kingdom. That tear looked like a, a, a physical triforce piece. Do not look away. You witness a Dude, those were new ones with giant horns. And the birth of his Linos. new world. That transition between Link getting his arm ability, and then you seeing Ganondorf's big ass arms. Whoa! But that shot is so cool. Alone. This right here is so cool. Link. You are our final hope. Dude, the beat right there. Doo -doo. Dun -dun. Like, you throw that back. Hold up. That's so hard. Let's go. That character model is beautiful. But you are not. I not read you, I'm talking, uh, what was, like, you saw a green character, Final hope. see all that, that sound, this, this trailer is too hot, <laughs> this trailer is fire, for no reason, hold up, alright, I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna slow shit down now, this is insane, I'm gonna go as slow as possible, so we don't get the damn, uh, annoying audio. Yo, that's like the lasers from the old Zelda games that would chase you in dungeons. Yeah, that is a little dude. I thought that would be uh, Tubba, like the champion, the previous champion. But it, I mean, we saw them, right? We saw uh, Sidon. Dude, Zelda's so pretty in this game. Her outfit, her hairdo. They managed to always, like, top. The Zelda models. Cause I really thought like, yo, I was in love with the Sky with Sword when I was like, yeah, that's never gonna get topped. Like, <laughs> and they topped it in the next game. Look at the tear. And it has a symbol. It looks like it's missing a piece. This dude. Just malice out his face. Like, what is he doing right there? Just, oh, summon them more than likely all the, just like the Blood Moon. So now it probably won't be a Blood Moon. It'll be him just, you know, refreshing the world with enemies. They look crazy, dude. Look at them horns. And are they going to fuse stuff? You're going to have to be fighting fused goddamn Linos, like with fused weapons. That's going to be crazy. The Master Sword is in there. That's probably why it's all messed up in the artwork. Look at them rings. Dude. This dude is Ganondorf, Akuma, yo, Demise. The epicness of his Hyrule Warriors version. Like, I didn't Nintendo so what the Hyrule Warriors team did and said, you know what? Or oh, we could take it even further. Like, we could go crazy. And damn, did they? That's insane. I need to see this guy playing the piano or something. Look at him. C 
crazy. I think it's so cool that you're going to be going into these action set pieces with, I guess, the children of the champions, more than likely. Because who, who knows how long this is? Yo, her ears are mad long. Gotta assume that she's a zone now. And, yo, her ears are crazy. I'm looking at her, and I'm, and I'm looking at, and I'm thinking of uh, Ganondorf's face. And I'm like, could they be the same race? Who knows? But her power very much resembles Zelda. Like, was that her beam right there? It looks like it. Amazing. Hold up, hold up. Let's go further back because there was a shot of some other people. We got the Master Sword right there. That's a beautiful shot. This character, huge. And I'm looking at the hand, the skin tone. That's definitely not the same person. This is something else. And you see they dressed Zelda just like the previous girl who did that crazy blast. She got one, like, you know, a single teardrop on her face, not multiple. This looks like that area. All right, so this is like the wind area where you're going to fight that giant spider. Look at, the, like, you see the gravity here? It's crazy. Link, like, it's like Link doing the long jump from <laughs> from Mario games. But that's because the gravity is different. Oh, he got the glider right there. You saw the outfit? Why did why why does yo like that that looked like uh, uh you know one of those toy thingies where you would get like the little rings or whatever the hell, put a cord in that shit. But <laughs> Link was spinning the whole thing. What are those? They look like shrines, like this game shrines, but again, they ain't showing us it. I'm going to go all the way to the beginning. Now, that's what I'm doing. I'm making my way to the beginning just to watch in the slow motion. Well, there's a lot of pan and shots here. So I'll stick with it through here. Like, this was insane. Insane. I'm, like, really debating, like, uh, would, would they be crazy enough to make the title screen like this in the actual game? I doubt it. I think they'll still do the subtle it popping up like it did on Breath of the Wild. You're probably walking out of something. But you never know. This is a game very focused on the sky, so they might be crazy enough to do this. And then seamlessly transition you right into falling into... Hyrule, a Hyrule that you think you know, but yeah, you're not familiar with at all. Like, what's that right there? Like, what is that? It's like Hyrule got tattoos now, and those are all over the place. You got those red spots over there. What are those? Like, I mean, those feel like towers to check off the world again, but I don't know. Look, that looks like one of those those things with the swirly lights coming out, but it's not on the right right here. But it's not, like, I guess it's not done, activated. You can see that big circle in the sky over there, which we get close to. Well, not in the sky, on, the, on top of that mountain. There go the circle in the background right here again. Listen, this game, this game been getting, you know, it's fair share of criticism. People trying to claim it's going to be DLC. And I'm like, dude, they ain't take six years to make DLC. And does this look like DLC to you? Show me what DLC has done this much. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on. That's not, that's not something like, I guess, Fortnite. That's a, a service game that's automatically always changing. Like, you know, uh, uh. this is clearly a full-blown, brand-new Legend of Zelda game. And it's awesome to be an uh, updated version of a Hyrule that we pre. Look at that tornado that we that that tornado is actually in the cover of the game, or at least in the in the full image of the cover art of the game.
See, this is something different, and they transitioned it into the castle coming out. But this is a whole completely different shot. Time of day, night sky. You got things here falling while the castle rises. So I guess you can go up to the castle with those things from multiple directions. This is what I love, seeing the the folks, like, just all, you know, in the shit. They're not just, like, sitting and standing by. Obviously, you know, in the game when you're playing, there's going to be a lot of that. But it's cool that in story, there's going to be people running around with you. And I wonder if when you're fighting, if you're summoning your, you know, champions, I think that's way cooler than even the abilities you got from them. Like, I love the abilities. I still want to get abilities like that. But... It's cool as hell if you can actually, you know, call them out. And then it's like, they, yeah, they're actually all on an adventure with you, but it's like an RPG, you know, and you don't see them while you're running around. But then when you get into fighting, they, they pop out and you could use them for attacks and stuff like that. Yeah, that'll be mad cool. There was a shot right there of where all the uh, statues of the sages were and all that. And it looked like there was a woman there. Could that be the the... Look at this jump, the lost one. Then you got those green orbs in there, like, I guess causing that stuff. Like, you could do a crazy Metroid Prime 3 Ridley style fight. Look, right here, you know what I'm saying? Spin it enough, you're going to get a box. Open the box, what you get? I don't know. I love this shot right here. Look, they all out there fighting. And this place was a line of defense before, and it is again. Look, Samus style elevator right here. This character. See, that's the character that I think is next to Zelda because the skin matches. Yo. Like, what race? Like, I guess this is more than likely going to be a Zona, but I think the other girl could be too. And maybe there's a, like a Zona world. In between, you know, in between worlds. Because I don't think it's just the sky. It feels like it's the sky, but it might be time also, like, related. That looks like a third eye right there that's closed. You see the bump out and everything. And it's like she got, a, like, a gold eyelash on it. This is insane. And look at the feet back there, like, those are two, like, I don't know what that is back there. Maybe a, it might be a bird, actually. A Rito. What a cool character, dude. Psst, every frame in this trailer. Look at this. Dude, if there was hands there, I would have been like, that's definitely, you know, the thing from Wind Waker, which already looked like Zona technology. You know, but this is definitely a callback to that. I love seeing the enemy come out the wall like that. Look at that handsome devil right there. I mean, the castle looked pretty good. You would think it looked worse. Unless that's not at the same time. Not the same time period. Love this shot right here. I'm telling you, every frame of this trailer, they know what they did with this. They, they knew what the mission was. Does that not look like an entrance to a dungeon? To something like a dungeon? I think we've seen a lot of stuff like that in this actual trailer. Clearly there's going to be a lot of puzzles, a lot of uh, uh, interior areas. It looks like there's going to be a lot of different designed interior areas, not like just a simple shrine style for puzzles, which is good. Because I think if the interior of the shrines matched the location where they were at, it would have, uh, uh, you know, relieved a lot of the sameness feeling people got. Yeah, that's definitely that character. Look at the arm right there. Oh, and the hand, obviously. Which looks very much like Link's hand. That's why it's weird. It's like this story, the way they've chopped it up and shown it to us is all over the place. We don't really know what's what. 
And look, she has the actual little teardrop on her neck. On her necklace there. Such a cool shot, yo. And look at that. The fact that you can't even see the top of that landmass that was in the background is crazy. The shield blocked with the sword. So cool. Like this. This looks like a dungeon. Like there's going to be mad puzzles in there. And that's probably the boss of it. It's a spinning thing which looks just like the circle that you were just going into. I think be, I think people get too caught up on dungeons though. Like, you don't need dungeons if you just seamlessly make the world du a dungeon everywhere. You know, puzzles everywhere. Like in Breath of the Wild, a lot of the fun was just, you know, figuring out how you're going to do certain things and then you would be rewarded for that. Sometimes the thing that you would do would be so crazy and elaborate on... on Hyrule, that you'll go into a shrine just to get rewarded, not even to do anything in that shrine. And sometimes you will do something crazy on Hyrule and then go into a shrine, do something crazy in there, and then get, you know, your reward. And I'm looking at the back of the little glowing dudes over there. They're like in bubbles too. This is crazy. And he's going to shoot an arrow. Yep. Yeah. Link's suit looked different there. With, like, look at that suit right there. Got some different outfits. That's crazy. What's that in his hand? Yeah. <laughs> he made some crazy shit. That outfit is sick, too. Look at the armor on the horse. Now we got some horse armor. Like, I love the horses in Breath of the Wild, so I'm excited to have my trusty horse with me. Definitely a spider. An ice spider in that tornado. Yeah, look, and, and it's not on her neck right there. She took it off, and now she's looking at it, holding it. See, but it looks like she's in Hyrule, right? I'm telling you, it got to be a different time period. It's the most obvious Zelda... Zelda like answer to anything. It's like, listen, you're either in a different world or in a different time. And it looks like she's not in a different world. So I'm assuming she's in a different time. The blood moon rises once again. That's what I think that definitely is. Dude. They all landed in superhero pose, letting you know it's on this time. Shit was on the first time. I don't think I'm listening in my current playthrough right now that I'm doing, which you can watch on the channel. Uh, I haven't even fought a Lionel yet because I'm like I ain't ready. I'm playing on a master mode and all that. I'm like I'm not ready yet. I only got like eleven hearts, ten hearts. I think eleven. This dude looks. Insane. I love it. It's clearly Ganondorf. But just. Just epic as hell. This this thing is crazy. Like does that thing just make ink. That it can just go into on any kind of. You know. Surface. Because that's crazy. Like it looked like it was going underground. Love it. Destroying. And then the the, the Riju dance right here, right? Oh, lightning. I'm telling you, it feels like you're going to be able to summon them. Now she got, she has her abilities and all that. She knows how to use her abilities. Time clearly has passed. Yo, they destroyed him. It's like they're older. Oh, yeah, right. everybody was... It looked not, well, I mean, not say everybody was there, but Temple was there. It looks like everybody's older. Time has passed. I'm wondering, yo, if Zelda takes that braid out, is her hair 
just as long as it was in the previous game. Because that braid goes all around her head. All right, let's watch this now in uh, regular speed. Whole damn, I want the whole damn thing. All right, then. Let's take a look. Please enjoy. Dude, what a look it was. And did I enjoy it? I'm, I'm still enjoying it. Be watching this shit for 30 days. And I know y'all gonna be right there with me. I love this music, man. I love it, love it. The music alone makes this one of the best other trailers of all time. And what I love is what you see is what you get. Like, this is the game. You're gonna experience all of this with a lot more. That music note right there, so good. Certain shots, yo, it'd be looking like there's nothing in the sky. You know, you never see Link really wearing his blue tunic or anything like that. I mean, that was the whole thing, you know, for the champions, and it's nowhere to be seen. Oh, not nah, right here. But this is like the beginning, which feels very tied to Breath of the Wild. I mean, after that, like when he's running around, most of the shots is just new outfits. I mean, that could be purposefully done. But clearly the main... All right, they got the blue right there. But clearly the main suit is, you know, the shirtless. With the damn thing going across his upper body. So I'm wrong, you do Zelda. see the blue uh, champion's tunic around. We rely on your knight and that legendary but they, it sword just feels like it's two different time periods. Like Our it, last it could almost be, will be Link. the same Link, but jumping between times, which wouldn't be nothing new Link. for his other game. Awesome. Versus his own shit. The rocket right here is crazy. I love this. Give me more platforming than my Zelda games. Your platforming is, is the best. So makes Metroid so good with this platform with all the action. And now obviously it's what makes Mario the GOAT. I know why I am here. It's something only I can do. See, I know why I'm here, it's something only I can do. Do not look away. You witness a king's revival and the birth of his new world. I'm wondering when he says that, is that the beginning before Link starts falling and all that? But he comes out all zombified and says, don't look away. You're going to see the you know rebirth of the king. Link. You are our final hope. You know what it is I love so much about the did you when it ends right there? It reminds me of like 8-bit game sounds. Like sounds you would hear in like the uh, old NES Ninja Turtle game or something. But you are not alone. Link. Oh no, that wasn't terrible. That's the you little dude. I think that's his baby. He's probably gone. Time has passed. And look, that's Ganondorf right there, man, big. Link! You must find me. And there's nothing in her sky. And she didn't look like she was in the sky. It's a different time. It's a different time. 
Dude, that was incredible. Such a good trailer. Uh, I mean, you saw my reaction. You heard my reaction. That was it. That was real. That That's insane, dude, what they did with this trailer. I'm so impressed. So impressed. Like, I legit didn't think that it would be possible to top the uh, Breath of the Wild trailer. Basically, the uh, what was that? The last one we saw before it launched. Where you heard Minna talking and everything. This one did it. I mean, the way it was cut. What they were showing off. The music. Everything. This is, hands down, my favorite Legend of Zelda game trailer. That shit brought all the hype. And I'm so happy that, you know, it's only a month away. We don't got to wait. We don't got to wait, you know, two years, three years. None of that no more. It's done. The wait is over. We're here. I'm so happy to be here. And thanks to each and every one of y'all who tuned in. And if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Oh, look what it is. It's my uh, Zelda gameplay. Yeah, you can also check that out on the uh, channel. And yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Until the next one, peace.